And welcome back. Well, acupuncture has been around for more than 2,000 years. Yeah, but today we're going to talk about the very latest advances in this ancient treatment. Jeremy Gill Soul from Aspire Wellness and Lifestyle Center is here with how acupuncture and proper nutrition can help make the pain go away. So nice to have you Thanks here. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you thank so you. much. I mean, acupuncture has been around for forever. A lot of people see it as being an alternative mm -hmm. form of wellness or medicine. Yes. Um, how do you describe it to people who have never done it before and what it can help with. Yeah, acupuncture is a very old medicine, but it can treat really new diseases. It, what it does is it stimulates the body's natural healing response, as if you cut your finger. You don't need to go see a doctor to do that. It just kicks in and does itself for itself. So acupuncture, the little needles that get inserted, stimulate that body's response, and it treats a tremendous number of things. To give specifics, it's really big for the person, mm -hmm. you know. I, ha I have friends who swear by acupuncture, and they just say it's like the best thing that, that helps them with a lot of their ailments, and they consistently use it because it consistently works. Do you think that there's different, are there different methods that different acupuncturists use to actually create healing? Yeah, absolutely. One of the methods I do is known as bl uh, global balance. Okay. And, and what comes down to making acupuncture so different is the diagnosis. In Western cultures or in Western schools, we're taught a lot of acupuncture from an herbalist perspective. And that's not necessarily wrong, but it doesn't also necessarily mean it's right. What I do with my acupuncture is I leave my herbal medicine as an herbalist and I do my acupuncture as an acupuncturist. Mm. It comes down to a more specific diagnosis for your acupuncture. So how I treat is specific to how your body needs its treatment. Does it hurt? I mean, a lot of people think, I don't want to deal with needles. And yeah. for people who've had a flu shot or, or, or vaccine or something, yeah. it's not that kind of needle. Right? No, no, absolutely not. Acupuncture needles are solid steel. They're known as a filiform needle, whereas your doctor's needle typically has a hole in it either to inject something or to pull something out. Much larger needle. Acupuncture needles are actually smaller than sewing needles. They're just a little bit bigger than a human hair. Now, to say it doesn't necessarily hurt, I cannot promise that. There's usually, <laughs> you're getting poked. Let's yeah, be honest, you're prick. getting poked with a little needle. It's, it's extremely minute. Uh, an acupuncturist is very skilled at, at putting that in so that it doesn't hurt. It's no more than, say, uh, a slight mosquito bite or a bee sting. Mm -hmm. It's very temporary. So n yes and no is the only way See, I can I be don't honest. Think it hurts. It's but just it doesn't. So no, small. no, it's yeah. such a minute part of the experience. And yet, a big deterrent for a lot of people. I guarantee you the needles are not the concern. Acupressure, the, the use of stimulating the same points without yes. the needle, is actually more painful if done correct than acupuncture. Mm -hmm. Well, and a lot, lot of us remember like having a headache and being told to kind of push right yeah, here, yeah, you know, yeah. and that actually hurts after a while. Right, right. So knowing that acupuncture doesn't quite hurt the same way, I think is important. Exactly. You know, like I said, several of my friends do it on a, on a consistent basis. They do it every couple of weeks because yeah. they have constant ailments that they're, they're kind of re-injuring several times. How often do you think people should get acupuncture and what's kind of a diagnosis or a treatment plan? That's a great question. One of the first questions is, can I just get one treatment? Right. The, the reality is acupuncture is a therapy. It's not a quick fix. If it was a one-time fix, it would be really expensive. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It would be like a surgery, you know? It's not something like that. It's a therapy. So the best results I get with my patients are as a therapy would. The best question I can ask you is, can you go to the gym once a week and get results? I wish. Yeah, yeah we do <laughs> wish. wish. But in reality, no. You can't take a multivitamin one time a no. week. You have to do it consistently. Mm -hmm. So the best thing that I can recommend for somebody with acupuncture is a good diagnosis and then a consistent treatment plan so that you can actually get beyond the problems you're facing. How many treatments a person needs really depends on the person. Mm -hmm. There's no formula like for low back pain, this is how many treatments, or for high blood pressure, this many treatments. It's really a very individual experience. What about diets? Does acupuncture work with, with diets? And have you had personal experience with acupuncture Absolutely. as it relates to that? You know, diet and nutrition is a major question in our country. We eat a lot of foods that are actually very inflammatory, meaning they increase inflammation in the body. They this is a before pain. picture of you. This was me uh, on February 22nd, so about a month and a half ago. And uh, yeah, and then this is me 25 days later. How much uh, weight did you lose? 26 pounds. Stop it. 26 pounds in, in three weeks. 
three what? weeks. Yeah. I started to detox my body. I got more uh, acupuncture. What's a main inflammatory food? I just want to stop you there because I'm just, I'm, yep. just, I'm amazed. You know, yep. major inflammatory foods honestly are wheat and dairy. Yeah. They, they stimulate the immune system. So one of the things most people don't know is 90% of the immune system is in our gut. Mm -hmm. If you have chronic pain and you're eating foods that increase inflammation, you're going to be suffering more intense pain. And I can't say that everybody has wheat or dairy intolerances. It could be vegetables have inflammatory things, tomatoes. So I'm not saying stop eating tomatoes. I'm saying let's look at the foods that increase inflammation in you mm -hmm. and see if we can get that to come down. And then your pain comes down with a good treatment. That's fa uh, fascinating. It is. Yes. Really. Yeah. I think the combo of everything is just so healthy for people, too. And I want to make sure everybody knows how they can contact you with Aspire. The website is AspireLiveWell.com, but you can call to get this special. If you mention the Morning Blend, you'll get 50% off your examination and your first treatment. The phone number is 262-478-0030 to reach Jeremy for more information on acupuncture and nutrition.